fire. Hello, my name is CJ Wiley, and I'm here to talk about my touch of inside technique. This technique has been talked about quite a bit recently. This is a technique that I used years ago when I was gambling on the road to have an edge gambling, because what I knew right away is when you're gambling for all your money, you have to win. So I needed to develop an edge. And that edge was to develop a way where every shot was the same. Now many people think that there's like 4,000 shots in pool and up to millions of shots. They say Einstein was quoted as saying there were six million possible shots in pool. But it's like classical music where there's a theme and variations. You can listen to classical music that's very, very complex, but when you break it down like a mathematical formula, you'll see that there's maybe just three themes and many variations on that theme. Well, pool is the same way. Now, there are thousands, maybe millions of possibilities, but when you can break those possibilities down into a major theme and different variations, you can get to the level that I achieved back when I was gambling all the time and had to win to be able to shoot the same shot time after time. Because basically, that's what the outcome is, is to be able to develop a system where no matter where the balls are, or what the shot is required as far as with your cue, with your tip, with the balls, that you can develop it where it's consistent time and time again. Now there's three things that are very crucial in any type of pool shot, and you have to evaluate this. You have to evaluate the speed that you're hitting the shot. You have to evaluate how the two balls connect when you're above the shot before you get down to create the angle needed to make the object ball. You also have another consideration. You have to be able to connect your tip to the cue ball in such a way that you can create the shot that is required. Now that's where it gets a little tricky because there's many places to hit the cue ball. You can hit it in the center, you can hit it to the right like they call uh, a tip of English, you know, they use this tip to describe how much English you put on a ball. So through this demonstration, I'll be using like one tip or two tips of English uh, on occasion. And that just means that from center, you're going over one tip or maybe a half tip or quarter tip, but that's a measurement that's used to tell how much spin or how, where you're cueing the, the, the cue ball. That's the main thing. You have to have a referential index to be able to do that, and they use the tip, and I use the tip to describe that. So when you're addressing any shot, you can hit the center, you can hit a half tip, a full tip, two tips, three tips on either side of center. You can go down below center and do the same thing. You can hit you know, up to three tips. That's, that's pretty much to the side of the cue ball. That's an extreme spin shot. And you can go all the way down into the low regions of the cue ball, as well as to the high regions of the cue ball. So there's all of these places that you can hit on the cue ball to create a shot that is required that you see. Now, the one thing that I've realized over the course of my life is the less choices you have, the better off you are. That's a misconception that I had for many years on other parts of my life, like business, is I wanted to give myself more choices but actually less choices is better. And that's really gonna be kind of the main theme of this touch of inside system, is to give yourself less choices, but in a very positive way. Because if you have all those choices of hitting all over the cue ball, then you have a lot of decisions to make. And what I've found is a lot of your beginning and amateur, even intermediate players, will look at shots that might not even be possible. They could probably tell me five, six, maybe 10 different things they could do on each shot. And when they're talking to a player uh, like myself that, that's reached the higher levels, we pretty much know that many of those shots that they're considering might not even be possible and certainly aren't the right shot, you know, for that particular occasion because, you know, as you go farther from center, you risk more spin and more of something called deflection. Deflection is when you go, say, to the right of center and you hit that round cue ball, it's going to push the cue ball off to the left just a little bit, depending on the speed that you hit the shot and, and where on the cue ball. 
I don't want to get into all the details of that because what I think uh, is the most important thing is to develop your feel for this cue ball. So I don't want to get into too much of the visual parts of it. I really want to get you where you're connected to the cue ball, where you're creating the angles and playing the game by feel after you visually align the shot and see everything that's necessary. Then you shift, you know, in my opinion, to feeling with your eyes. That's the way that I describe it because ultimately you're going to play the game at the higher levels and you're going to jump up a couple levels like you're attempting to do perhaps on your league or, or in amateur tournaments or even professional tournaments. You want to get better and the way to get better is to be more consistent and consistency at the root definition is doing the same thing time after time again. So the more you go over from center on this cue ball, like let's say to the right, the more it's going to push the ball to the left. If you spin the ball on the pool table surface, it's going to curve back to the right. So it's going to start out to the left and go back to the right, depending on how hard you hit it and the speed. Now these are variations and these are, these are calculations that you're going to have to make. And what my touch of inside system does is lessen those calculations, lessen the judgments you have to make so that you can start to hit the same shot every time. So these thousands of possible shots are condensed down to maybe just three to five major themes and then there's going to be five variations on those themes, let's say. So maybe there's 25 different types of shots, but you're doing it all using the same system as far as where you're addressing the cue ball. Now, I use the touch of inside. The reason I call it that is I use a touch of inside on the cue ball. So if I'm cutting a ball to the right, I will go in from center to the right just a little bit. Now, when I get into the demonstration part, I'll show you more of, you know, how far I go over on certain shots and then I'll be able to show you that. Right now, I just want to tell you that the reason that I don't just use the center of the cue ball is the thing about our strokes. I mean, we're human. We're not perfect. Even at the professional level, especially when you're really hitting the ball with velocity, you're going to be off just a hair at times and this is going to put a little bit of unintended spin or deflection on the cue ball. What my touch of inside system does is it gets us to favor the inside so we know it's going to deflect a little bit to the opposite direction every time. See that's important because if I'm a little bit off it'll hit the center and it's not going to deflect at all. It's just going to be a center ball hit. My main thing is to stay away from hitting the wrong side of the cue ball. So if I'm aiming for this dot on the ball and I'm aiming slightly to the right, I know when I go through with my stroke that if I'm off a little bit to the left, as much as I'm ever going to be off, I'm still just going to hit the center. So it's going to go straight. If I'm off a little bit more to the right, it's going to deflect a little bit more to the left. So I can calculate that. I know which direction it's going to go every time. It's either going to go straight or slightly to the left. If somebody's trying to hit the center every time, then they could un you know, unintentionally hit the left side of the ball and make the ball go to the right, which is going to make the object ball have an effect and possibly miss the shot. Now, I want to know why I miss. Everybody misses shots. You can't make all of them. But the main thing that you want to do at the level, you know, any professional level especially, is when you do miss a shot, when that ball does not go in, you need to know right away why that is. So if I'm trying to hit the center and I am off a little bit either way, I could miss the shot and not really know why. I could blame it on something that's not really the core reason. Maybe I think it's my body is out of alignment or something like that. But I want to make sure that when I'm cueing the ball, that I'm cueing it slightly off center, the touch of inside, so that I know for sure when I miss the shot 
why that's happening. And there again, in the demonstration, I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. There again, I can only describe it in a certain way to understand. To really, really understand this technique, you're going to have to watch me do it, and I'm going to show you and tell you and demonstrate exactly what I'm talking about as far as how I can calculate, how I can judge the angle and tell if I miss the shot and how to correct it right away. Because you will notice with the top level players, they miss a shot in the first game, you know, pretty bad. And then they play perfect the rest of the match. And that's a very common thing you'll see with the greatest players because they know immediately how to come back and calculate what they did wrong and correct it right away. And that's something that uh, we all are going to have to do. This is with any sport. You have to know why you're making mistakes or you're just destined to repeat them. They say history repeats itself if you don't really understand the whys. So that's another part of this touch of inside that's very, very important. So. Now I want to give you a uh, visual demonstration. So I'm going to start setting up shots, and I'm going to show you how this touch of inside works and why it is so powerful for you to understand and utilize in your game. If you start playing this way, and you're playing the same people that you've been playing in the past, let me tell you, after about three weeks using this touch of inside, and you do have to commit to it. You have to commit to this one shot, because you can master one shot. You can master the touch of inside. Can you master all the places on the cue ball? I don't believe anybody can. There's a few that come close, and I'm going to tell you they have to practice six hours a day to do it. None of us really have that time. I mean, if you want to be that type of player, then, you know, you're going to be committing in a different way. But still, those players do what I'm talking about. They stay more towards the center and favor a side of the ball so they can throw the ball in the pocket because that creates a pocket zone and that's another part of what I'm going to demonstrate is it actually makes the pocket perceptionally bigger than it is using the most margin of error. You want to establish a way to hit the shot. There again, if you know which way it's going to go on the demonstration, I'll show you, you're going to slightly overcut the shot every time. So you can play to slightly undercut it. Then when you go through the ball, what you're trying to do is calibrate it to the center of the pocket. You want to hit the center every time. But that's not where I aim. When I'm playing my very best, I'm hitting the center of the pocket every time, pretty much. But it surprises people to know that's not where I'm aiming. I'm aiming at the part of the pocket that's closest to the ball, and I'm throwing it in slightly using the touch of inside so that I have what I call the three-part pocket system. I have the undercut side. That's if I accidentally hit the center. It's going to go into the undercut side. If I hit it exactly like I'm, I'm planning, pretty much, it's going to go into the center. And if I do it just a little bit too much, if it goes a little bit, my stroke goes a little bit too far to the inside, I'm going to hit the outside of the pocket. Now, you might not know exactly what I'm talking about yet, but after this demonstration, you will. So. Let's get started. I can't wait to show you this system. You're going to love it.